hey, hey. It's me again. So, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope y'all are having a great Wednesday. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a couple minutes before I get started. I am one of the social media health influencers for Whitman Walker. Um as well as one of the art educators for the corner and a host of Floetic, Floetic Uptown for youth services. So I'm all in the Whitman Walker bag. I'm glad to hear that things are getting better. You know with everything going on it can feel a little hard to really prioritize your joy but i hope y'all are making sure to do that i don't have all the energy in the world today like <clears throat> i don't i wouldn't say i normally do but i just don't and so i'm using this filter to um help bring the energy to the live Good afternoon. It's so good to be in virtual space with y'all. Um, so I'm gonna get started. <clears throat> and um, hey girl, hey mama. I'm gonna get started. Um, as you all know, it is Women Wednesdays. Like I said, um, my name is Soul. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm the host of the bag series. Um, the bag series is a space for women to gather, whether it's a virtually or in person, eventually, um, to unwind and to, unlearn, to learn from one another. Together, we experience musical selections from Alex Love Tonight and talk through sexual health catered to women. Uh, we cover everything from clearancy to strapping up to foreplay, lube options, um, and HIV prevention. Um, just so you know what you're in for, the bag um, is split into two rounds. Um, each round is 30 minutes of music and 15 minutes of sexual health talk. Um, and it's a one and a half hour session from 8.30 to 10. Um, the space welcomes question about sex and sexual health. So just ask. Um, today, our topic is the importance of doctor's visits to prevent cancer through cervical checks. So let's talk a little bit about what cervical cancer is. Um, almost all cervical cancers are caused by human papillomavirus, which is HPV. HPV can be passed from one person to another during sex. There are various types of HPV. Um, some can cause cervical cancer over time, while others can cause genital or skin warts. Um, HPV is so common that most people get it at some point in their lives. Um, there are usually no symptoms associated with HPV, which makes it a little difficult to know if you have it. Um, but for most people, for most women, HPV will go away on its own, and for some it does not, um, which creates a chance that over time it may cause cervical cancer. Um, a few other risk factors that can increase your risk of cervical cancer include having HIV or another condition that makes it hard for your body to fight off health problems, smoking, using birth control pills for a long time, um, which means five or more years, um, having given birth to three or more children, um, and having se several sexual partners. Um, there are two screening tests that can help prevent cervical cancer or find it early. Um, the first one is the pap test or the pap smear, um, which looks for precancers, cell changes on the cervix that could become cervical cancer if not treated appropriately. 
Um, during a pap test, the doctor will use a plastic or metal instrument called a speculum to widen your vagina. Um, this helps the doctor examine the vagina and the cervix and collect a few cells and mucus from the cervix in the area around it. The cells are sent to a laboratory to be tested. Um, you should not schedule your test for a time when you are having your period. Um, if you have a pap test scheduled in the next <clears throat> two days, you should not douche. Um, douching is when you rinse the vagina with um, water or another fluid. Um, do not use a tampon. Do not have sex. Um, do not use birth control foam, foam, cream, or jelly. Or medication or cream on your vagina. Um, the HPV test looks for viruses that can cause these cell changes. <clears throat> so when should you start to get screened? Um, you should start getting pap tests at the age of 21. If your pap test result is normal, your doctor may tell you that she can wait three years until your next pap test. Um, if you are 30 to 65 years old, talk to your doctor about which testing option is right for you. If your result is normal, your doctor may tell you that you can wait three years until your next pap test. If you get an HPV test only, your doctor may tell you that you can wait up to five years until your next screening test. Um, if you get an HPV test along with the pap test, your daughter may t your doctor <laughs> not your daughter. Your doctor may tell you that you can wait up to five years until your next screening test. If you are older than 65, your doctor may tell you that you don't need to be screened anymore. If you've had normal screening, screening test results for several years, or you have had your cervix removed as part of a total hysterectomy for non-cancerous conditions like fibroids. Um, test results can take as long as three weeks to come back, so make sure you review your test results. Um, if they are not normal, your doctor will contact you and figure out how best to follow up. Um, there's also a vaccine that helps prevent the types of HPV that most often cause cervical, vaginal, and vulvar, vulvar cancers. Um, the HPV vaccination is recommended for preteens age 11 or 12 years, but can be given starting at age nine. Um, the HPV vaccine is also recommended for everyone through age 26 if they are not already vaccinated. The HPV vaccine is not recommended for anyone older than 26. However, some adults age 27 to 45 years who are not already vaccinated may decide to get the HPV vaccine after speaking with their doctor about their risk for um, new HPV infections and the possible benefits of vaccination. Um, HPV vaccination in this age range provides less benefit um, as more people have already been exposed to HPV. Um, the HPV vaccine prevents new HPV infections but does not treat existing infections or diseases. Therefore, the vaccine works best when given before any exposure to HPV. While cancer impacts people of all ages, races, ethnicities, and sexes, it does not always affect them equally. Um, in 2017, most cases of cervical cancer were amongst Black and Hispanic women, um, and the age group that was most impacted were women from 35 to 44 years old. So that is just a little bit of information um, around cancer prevention through cervical checks. If you guys have any questions, you know, you can always contact Whitman Walker. You can always do your own research if you um, just want to get a little bit more information that we did not cover today. You can always do your own research um, and um, talk to your doctor and, or your healthcare provider and do what is best for you.
I want to make sure that there are no questions before I end the live. I don't see any. Um, yeah, make sure to follow Whitman Walker on Facebook, IG, and Twitter at Whitman Walker. Um, and you can follow at Real Talk DC as well. Um, at Real Talk DC underscore. And you can call our team for support resources at 202 797 4439. I hope y'all have a great Women's Wednesdays. I hope y'all RSVP for the bag series tonight. Um, I actually have the wrong. <laughs> I have the wrong topic in this um, pinned comment, but. Join us tonight. It's going to be a great conversation, um, great music, great vibes, lots of fun folks to connect and um, talk about sexual health with. So come through RSVP at bit.ly slash bag RSVP. That's B-A-G-G-R-S-V-P. Peace, y'all.